Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to isolate color um, using Photoshop CS3 and this operation will be performed on a Macintosh so your shortcut keys will differ slightly with the PC. Um, I'm going to take this photo and we're going to isolate the color of her eyes and make everything else black and white. Once that is complete, I'm going to also go ahead and show you how to change the color of her eyes. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing that I like to do is duplicate the background layer. And once that's complete, we're on that layer. We're going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to choose my pen tool, P on the Macintosh, and it's also over here in your toolbar. I'm going to make a quick selection and Further tutorials will cover how to use the pen tool if you need a little bit extra on that. I assume if this was your photo, you'd go a little bit slower and be more accurate. But for time's sake, we're going to hurry up and quickly make our selection. Okay, once the selection is made, inside of your selection, right click make selection. Make sure that the new selection is chosen as the radio button and I typically choose one pixel for a feather radius and go ahead and push OK. Now to speed things up I have preloaded the selection of the right eye. So you'll go to select. Um, if you wanted to save this selection you can go ahead and save it in this location as well and name it. Um, otherwise we're going to go ahead and just load the selection that I've previously used. Here we go, right eye. And make sure that you use the operation add to selection. Push OK. Now we have two eyes that have been selected and again we want to take the everything minus the eyes and make them black and white. Um, Command Shift I will select the inverse of what we're looking for here or you can come up to select and down is inverse or command option I. Now that we have that done, we want to make sure they want our background layer. Come up to image, adjustments, about halfway down you'll see black and white. That'll pull up a palette which you don't need to do too much with at this moment, so we can go ahead and push OK. It's really as simple as that for selecting color and isolating it. Now we're going to move on to the next step where I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the layer once more. And at this point we have the skin selected so we want to do our Command Shift I once more on the Macintosh to just select the eyes. Again up to Image, Adjustments. One right under the black and white there is Hue and Saturation or Command U on the Macintosh and a palette comes up that has hue, saturation, and lightness sliders. Also, you'll see a colorize uh, radio button down here. Go ahead and click that, and you can instantly see that the eyes have changed color. You can s mess around your sliders a little bit and achieve the desired color that you're looking for. And saturation as well, and lightness. When you've come to what you what satisfies you, go ahead and push OK. And on the Macintosh, we're going to go ahead and deselect by pushing Command D, and we are finished. I'll take you back very quickly, and you can see there was the beginning result. We went ahead and selected the eyes and selected the inverse of that, uh, isolating the color of her eyes. Then we, with our established selection, change the color of her eyes to purple.